Dick Johnson grabbed national attention 30 years ago at Bathurst when his race ended after hitting a rock. He became a hero overnight as people across the country pledged money to get him back on track. After winning the great race three times, this year he has James Courtney leading the championship in the Jim Beam Racing Ford. Off track, it's been just as busy with mining magnate Nathan Tinkler in the frame to buy out co-owner Charlie Schwaltkolt. The move on the eve of the great race has grabbed headlines, including talk of a rift amongst the ranks. Well, as far as I'm concerned, uh, you know, this weekend is all about uh, Bathurst and the, and the super cheap 1000, Bathurst 1000, and uh, that's where our mind is focused right at this point in time. And, and not only me, but uh, all the guys in the team. Part of the speculation is that Courtney could end up leaving the team. Oh, I'm here to win the championship and uh, you know, win Bathurst, that's my job. I'd uh, get other people to sort that sort of stuff out with and uh, you know, my focus is on is doing the championship. I'm the driver and that's what I do. Today, two fans, Lance Cameron and Glenn Zagami, who pledged money to get Johnson on track in 1980, were left with no doubt as to why he remains one of the most popular figures in the sport. There's been a family uh, concern there for more than 30 years and it's still got that, that family feel to it. So uh, he's never lost that there, lost the touch. He's never forgotten where, where, where the support's come from and that's been the fans. Um, yeah, never ever forgotten that and never, never will. It's that support that Johnson wants to reward on track at Bathurst. A lot's happened in 30 years, mate, I can tell you. And, uh, and it doesn't look as though it's sort of even backing down at this point because... Uh, we still get the support that we had way back then and it's, it's great to see uh, all the familiar faces that have been around for so many years. The super cheap Auto Bathurst 1000 starts at 10.30 Sunday morning.